What's up, guys? Welcome to the One Year Bible Reading for January 10th. Uh, before I begin, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day of life. May you guide me as I'm reading these passages, Lord. May we understand what's being read and apply it to our daily lives. And may your name be glorified in this reading. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. So today's Genesis 23.1 through 24.51. Sarah lived 127 years. These were the years of the life of Sarah. So Sarah died in Kerjath Arba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Then Abraham stood up from before his dead and spoke to the sons of Heth, saying, I am a foreigner and a visitor among you. Give me property for a burial place among you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the sons of Heth answered Abraham, saying to him, Hear us, my lord, you are a mighty prince among us. Bury your dead in the choices of our burial places. None of us will withhold from you his burial place, that you may bury your dead. Then Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, the sons of Heth. And he spoke with them, saying, If it is your wish that I bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and meet with Ephron, the son of Zohar, for me that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he has, which is at the end of his field. Let him give it to me at that full price as property for a burial place among you. Now Ephron dwelt among the sons of Heth, and Ephron the Hyatite answered Abraham in the presence of the sons of Heth, all who entered at the gate of his city, saying, No, my lord, hear me. I give you the field and the cave that is in it. I give it to you in the presence of the sons of my people. I give it to you. Bury your dead. Then Abraham bowed himself down before the people of the land, and he spoke to Ephron in the hearing of the people of the land, saying, If you will give it, please hear me. I will give you money for the field. Take it from me, and I will bury my dead here. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying to him, My lord, listen to me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that between you and me? So bury your dead. And Abraham listened to Ephron, and Abraham, Abraham weighed out the silver for Ephron, which he had named in the hearing of the sons of Heth, 400 shekels of silver, currency of the merchants. So the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before Mamre, the field and the cave which was in it, and all the trees that were in the field, which were within all the surrounding borders were deeded to Abraham as a possession in the presence of the sons of Heth before all who went in at the gate of his city. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. So the field and the cave that is in it were deeded to Abraham by the sons of Heth as property for a burial place. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. So Abraham said to the oldest servant of his house, who ruled over all the, that he had, Please put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell. But you shall go to, to my country and to my family and take a wife for my son Isaac. And the servant said to him, Perhaps the woman will not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I take your son back to the land from which you came? But Abraham said to him, Beware that you do not take my son back there. The Lord God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my family, and who spoke to me and swore to me, saying, To your descendants I give this land. He will send his angel before you, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. And if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be released from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swore to him concerning his master. Concerning this matter, I'm sorry. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and departed. For all his master's goods were in his hand. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia to the city of Nahor. And he made his camels kneel down outside the city by a well of water at evening time, the time when women go out to draw water. Then he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, 
Please give, give me success this day and show kindness to my master Abraham. Behold, here I stand by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Let it be that the young woman to whom I say, Please let down your pitcher that I may drink. And she says, Drink, and I also give your camels a drink. Let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. And it happened before he had finished speaking that, behold, Rebekah was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her picture on her shoulder. Now the young woman was very beautiful to behold, a virgin. No man had known her. And she went down to, to the well, filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her and said, Please let me drink a little water from your pitcher. So she said, Drink, my lord. Then she quickly let her pitcher down to her hand and gave him a drink. And when she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have finished drinking. Then she quickly emptied her pitcher into the trough, ran back to the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. And the man, wondering at her, remained silent so as to know whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. So it was when the camels had finished drinking that the man took a golden nose ring weighing half a shekel and two bracelets for her wrists weighing ten shekels of gold and said, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, please. Is there room in your father's house for us to lodge? So she said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel. Milcah's son, whom she bore to Nahor. Moreover, she said to him, We have both straw and feed enough and room to lodge. Then the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his mercy and his truth toward my master. As for me, being on the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren, so the young woman ran and told her mother's household these things. Now Rebe Rebekah had a brother whose name was Laban, and Laban ran out to the man by the well. So it came to pass when he saw the nose ring and the bracelets on his sister's wrists, and when he heard the words of his sister Rebekah, saying, Thus the man spoke to me, that he went to the man, and there he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, O blessed of the Lord. Why do you stand outside? For I have prepared the house and a place for your camels. Then the man came to the house, and he unloaded the camels, and provided straw and feed for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the feet of the men who were with him. Food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told about my errand. And he said, Speak on. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master greatly, and he has become great, and he has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female servants, and camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old, and to him he has given all that he has. Now my master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I dwell. But ye shall go to my father's house and to my family and take a wife for my son. And I said to my master, Perhaps the woman will not follow me. But he said to me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with you and prosper your way. And you shall take a wife for my son from my family and from my father's house. You will be clear from this oath when you arrive among my family. For if they will not give her to you, then you will be released from my oath. And this day I came to the well and said, O Lord, Lord God of my master Abraham, if you will now prosper the way in which I go. Behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin comes out to draw water, and I say to her, Please give me a little water from your pitcher to drink. And she says to me, Drink, and I will draw for your camels also. Let her be the woman whom the Lord has appointed for my master's son. But therefore I had finished speaking in my heart. There was Rebekah coming out with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down to the well and drew water. And I said to her, Please let me drink. 
And she made haste and let her pitcher down from my shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give your camels a drink also. So I drink, and she gave the camels a drink also. Then I asked her and said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bore to him. So I put the nose ring on her nose and the bracelets on her wrists, and I bowed my head and worshipped the Lord, and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, who had led me in the way of truth to take the daughter of my master's brother for his son. Now, if you will deal, deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me. And if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing comes from the Lord. We cannot speak to you either bad or good. Here is Rebekah before you. Take her and go, and let her be your master's son's wife, as the Lord has spoken. All right, Matthew 8, 1 through 17. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy, his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one. But go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. But only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he comes, and to my servant, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel, and I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Now when Jesus had come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. So he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and served them. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sickness. Okay, Psalm 9, 13 through 20. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Consider my trouble from those who hate me. You who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I will rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down in the pit which, with, which they made. In the net which they hid, their own foot is caught. The Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Meditation. Salah. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. Proverbs 3, 1 through 6. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. Alright guys, hope you guys have a great, blessed day. Peace out.